I'm going to begin uh, trade sparking. I mean, was this an idea that was with you for, for quite a long time? Because I think it feels there's something about this film that feels like there's a lot of uh, your personality in there. I was wondering if it's something that's been in your mind for a while. Definitely, a uh, very very long time, uh, probably around a decade. Uh, in different iterations, have really been brewing for a while. Uh, probably halfway through there or something. That's when like the overall structure clicked into place. Um, but yeah, it's been a long time. Because I mean, I, I I told you just beforehand that I loved it, and it's Thank been you. my. And, but there's been so many people that are sort of citing it as their film of the festival. I oh, just that's wondering, amazing. Are you able to kind of step back after it's made and go, oh shit, that's actually pretty good? <laughs> like, is that is that something you're able to do? Because I know we're able to do it. But do you, are you aware when you've made something that is pretty special? Uh, I can't. All I can do is like judge if like I made what I set out to make, kind of. You know what I mean? So like, I it was good because we were working. We didn't even actually finish the movie until I think a week ago. We finished the sound mix, so I had a break uh, between working and then coming back to it and watching again. And it was like, yes, I feel good. I'm at peace. I made the movie I set out to. But it is very surreal. Now it's not mine anymore, uh, and it's out in the world. So. Yeah. And often you get um, when people um, have to cast kind of uh, relationships or two people in a relationship in movies, they have to cast them together. I was wondering if you had to cast the four family members together because they work as a kind of unit so incredibly well. That was, were, were you able to just cast each of them separately or did you need to kind of see them all together in the same room to know it would work? Yeah, just traditional. It was all separate at totally different times. They weren't even all together as a family until the night before shooting. I took them to La Tab, my favorite burger place in South Florida. Uh, so that was literally the first time they were together as a family. And then we were filming their family scenes in the diner the next day. But uh, yeah, it, it was, uh, you know, all it was, it was different for Kelvin because he came on very, very early. And then it was Taylor and then Sterling and Renee. Um, but they're all incredible human beings who are crazy talented. So I just had a feeling they would have inherent chemistry and jive, you know. Yeah, because I mean, you're saying obviously it's an idea that's been with you for a decade, but could you even have envisaged that these they would have been brought to life, these characters, as well as they have been? Because I mean, the, the quartet no. performances here are just exceptional. No, and and it, you know, it's really, I'm super collaborative, you know, and it was like that collaboration really sparked off with Kelvin and it continued to uh, grow hugely out of that with each new actor. And it, I mean, I did, when we were filming too, it just like, I felt like the luckiest guy in the world because I felt like I'm working with the some of the best actors alive and they're amazing we love each other and yeah it was really really incredible yeah I mean they're all brilliant but I think Kelvin because obviously you worked with him before and he feels like there's Oscars in him oh, <laughs> down yeah. the line yeah. uh, I mean you, you obviously having worked uh, together before do, can you see yourselves working together again you know sometimes you get those quite kind of special collaborations between filmmaker and and and, and, and actor you know that kind of people that work together six seven times across career do you think that you two have got that in you definitely I mean he's uh, he's my brother I'm he, I'm closer with him than other any living actor, you know, apart from like my aunt and mom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so I want to talk about the, the notion of empathy in this movie because I think obviously I'm not going to give anything away about the story, but uh, we, it's, our, our empathy towards certain characters might be tested at certain points. And I was just wondering about the challenge in ensuring that we're we're on side, uh, even though at times that is yeah put to the test. Yeah, I mean, um, look, I think I hope you get to the end of the movie, especially, and really feel the empathy and humanity for the entire film but um, the movie goes to some intense and dark places and uh, you know that's uh, I, I hope you go with it and I hope uh, I hope you just it was designed to be very subjective and immersive for whichever character you're going with and to wrestle with some tough things so I hope it feels uh, I hope it feels like you've lived this experience with them along the way until you know but I do think at the end like the movie has big empathy for every single person in it. You know, that was the goal anyways. And when I was watching it, there were some scenes, I mean, there's a couple of scenes I literally just couldn't watch. I had to put my hands up my eyes. That's I don't think I've done that since I watched like The Ring when I was about sort of 12 <laughs> years old. But so, but, just because you've been with this for such a long time and you've been in the edit suite kind of seeing all these, are there still scenes that kind of make, you, that move you or kind of make you go, oh shit, you know, <laughs> is that, or is that something you're so used to by now? Yeah, it, I mean, it, you do very, after you see a thing a million times, you get very numb to it. But what's been interesting is different parts I'll find myself reacting to in new ways that I never had before, uh, because it all is also so personal. Um, yeah. 
And I mean, the music is so important to this. I was reading that you kind of queued up the tracks with the screenplay. So when they were, when the actors were reading the, the, the screenplay, they were able to see what songs we were playing at specific moments. Was that, yeah. so what, what was the thinking behind that? Uh, well, it was essentially, it was a lot of things. One is in the decade, this was brewing a part of that. And the concept was, was it being a kind of soundtrack film, you know, um, like a lot of films I love, like Boogie Nights or Days and Confused and Goodfellas. And so music was always a part of that. But then in writing the script, I just wanted, I wanted to make it feel visceral and as close to what the final movie will feel like, you know, so there were camera movements talked about, aspect ratio changes, different sizes of font and colors used, and also music, you know, and music's been so instrumental to my life and huge. It's um, it's got me through the highs and the lows and everything in between, and uh, it opens you up and changes you emotionally. So I really wanted uh, I wanted people to have the choice to listen to music or not as they read the script uh, to give you a real indication of what the final vision will be, but also hopefully to uh, to feel the script emotionally as much as it will feel like in the final film, if that makes sense. Did, did many of those music selections change or when you when you shot a scene, when you were sort of in the editing suite and just go, actually, hang on a set, that this this doesn't work as well as another uh, track would? I'm trying to think. I'd love to look at the ratio now. It's very, very close to what it was in the script. Um, and I'm trying to think, too. I'm not sure. Pro a few songs changed for sure, which was also incredible because after having all this plan and everything, then like putting in a new song and being inspired in the edit was like incredible. But yeah, overall it was very similar to the script. When I first read about this movie, which I think was about a year ago when it was, it was sort of announced it was gonna be made, it was described as a musical. It said Waves <laughs> the Musical. Mm -hmm. uh, was that ever something that was gonna be the case or was it just completely misreported? Uh, completely misreported. I think, uh, I think that got out there when we were casting in Florida and people, someone heard there was a lot of music in it or something and then it became a musical, but we were all cracking up when that happened. And we're shooting it. I mean, there's times when characters are singing with songs in the movie. So it's like, yeah, I guess it's as close to a musical as I'll ever get. <laughs> I would love to see Waves the Musical now. Yeah, you've yeah. Got to do it now, part two. <laughs> Taking it to Broadway. <laughs> <laughs> so what's um, so what's next for you now? What you, I mean, I'm, I'm sure you're obviously right in the, in the midst of all the kind of Waves uh, publicity. But have, are you working on your next project? Have you started writing anything? No, now I'm like a blank slate. I basically put uh, everything I have uh, creatively and as a human being into this movie right now. So I think I. Uh, need to get away and uh, live a little more life again first so who knows so just very funny because I mean this film is already generating kind of a bit of Oscar buzz about it and I mean obviously I think it, it, it's just these in independent films like this often don't get nominated but then obviously Moonlight changed that completely a couple of years ago it makes you realize that films like this are being seen and are for that sort of stuff uh, is that something you're kind of that that being in the mix and stuff is that quite exciting to filmmakers I mean it's exciting to people like me I would love all the <laughs> Oscar <laughs> buzz and the conversations but how does it feel to, to you to hear to hear this being talked about in those terms uh, it's cool I mean ultimately I just want I believe in the movie so much and I want as many people to see it and connect with it as possible so uh, really that's all I care about you know so in whatever capacity that happens that's that's the goal cool well if you do just choose a nice suit for the record <laughs> yeah. thank you so much for time. Thank you, brother Cheers, ladies and gentlemen you're watching hey you guys hey you guys huh hey, you guys. is yeah. that from the Goonies it is indeed, yeah. nice hey, hey.